Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees. I'm Jared Cerne, and today I'm going on a commercial gar fishing trip with Marty Nunez and Ernie Nelly. We'll be targeting alligator gar, which have fossils that have been found that are over 300 million years old. They're a prehistoric looking fish, and these guys came to catch them. Let's get it started. All right, y'all, well, I'm down here in Hopedale, Louisiana, heading out with Mr. Marty Nunez and Ernie Nellig, and we are going set jugs for gar fish. These guys are commercial gar fishermen, so I'm kind of interested. I kind of have a little bit of a thing for gar fish. I want to start catching more of them, so I'm here to learn. I just want to see how they do it, what they're using for bait, what type of water they like to find them in, and uh, they said it's pretty fun. So here's our little bateau that we're going in. Actually, perfect for gar fishing, isn't it? A little small. A little small. Looks tough, though. She is. She's a tough little, little boat. Yeah. So, were y'all able to catch bait? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure did. I caught about 70, 80 catfish in a canal right here. Okay. Yep. And bait's hard to get reel. these days, huh? It is, yeah. They get the right kind because it's in the summertime when it's hot like this, you catch sharks, redfish, mm. drums, everything else. You got a better chance of catching a goldfish with a catfish, whole gotcha. head catfish. Yeah. How long did it take you to catch 70 to 80 catfish? About three hours. Yeah. How much would that bait cost if you had to buy it? To go fish with a hundred lines, <clears throat> you get about 70 fish for 35 hours. <laughs> So the fish he caught was about $35 worth of fish. So what he was saying was that bait's kind of hard to find right now. So they had to catch their own bait today, which is hardhead catfish. Well, a garfish lives out here. What do you think he eats? Hardhead catfish. They eat anything. Catfish is, is hard. Other fish don't eat it. Yeah. I've seen a few times we do catch a couple of redfish and right. the sharks even on them. But usually right. you don't... You're just gonna get that goldfish. Nothing oh, else yes. wants to eat the hard That's head. good, yeah. 14, 15 miles Check that out, out. We're man. not going. I ain't going all the way to the bridge. The bridge down, die. Show, Show me how y'all got that rigged up. Looks like you'll go through the go fish. Go all the way through, through the fish. Go through the mouth with the wire. I can show you to the mouth and out the part actually. You try to make it come out. Try to make it come all the way out the tail. But they don't sometimes want to sometimes do Sometimes they then. don't. Yeah. You trying to hide the hook? No, you're trying to pull it as far as possible because that golf is going to grab that, grab that fish at first you and swim to, off with it first. Yeah, right. thing, if, you would bait, if, if you wouldn't have the wire, you would bait the bait on the end of the line, right? On the hook. Yeah. So you could tie a hook straight to that string right. and use it. But the reason you use the wire is because that that goldfish will chew that string right, and right, break right, it. Right. Hey, hey, the whiskey bar. Oh, the whiskey bar. Whiskey bottle, alligator head. Look what alligator. The, the, uh, that's why we didn't find it. Mm. Alligator do the bottles. I was joking about that bottle every day. It's a whiskey <laughs> bottle. We never caught a fish on it yet. <laughs> Not an alligator guy. You know? <laughs> they don't want to drink. So we pretty much just ride him. You just go and you throw. About every, you know, quarter mile or so, we throw one out. And he's just keeping track as he goes. He knows all of these lakes really well. And he knows where they're gonna be at. And it's pretty simple, just a jug, a line, a wire, and a fish with a hook. out and really it's just a matter of 
going and throwing. You know, uh, Ernie's up there tying them and throwing them while Mr. Marty drives. Got a fish on this. Got a fish on the, on the line. There's a fish on. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Y'all get to see y'all first fish. You can see the process right now. Oh, he came oh, up. Oh, hey. oh, all right. It's nice. a small one, but. Small one. Okay. Small fish. There he is. Sometimes they come in and find you kill them. We got a yeah, couple crates in here we put them in, but yeah. you never expected to get one out here in final line and get one, but sometimes you do. That fish right there, total weight is probably, you get about maybe six, seven pound of meat. Yeah. About 12 to 14 pound fish all together. You, when you skin them, you get half, you lose right, half. Right, they right. come out about half the meat. So that's a, I said, 12 pound fish. The big, big, big ones is over 100 pounds. Oh my gosh. So average, <laughs> average fish is 15 pounds of meat is 30 pounds. Okay. That's a 12 pound average is about 30. Yeah. Okay. Whiskey bottle, set me free. <laughs> All right, we're checking one of our first jugs that we put out before we went into the marsh, and it's got one on it. We're gonna have to throw some more in it by. Yeah, All right, well, we're gonna head home, get some shut eye. We'll be back here in the morning to check all the lines. All right, we made it. Gar fishing time. You ready, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we ready. I'm excited. How many lines we put out? I think it's right at 110. Yeah. A little bit over 100. I mean, you figure with 110 lines, we're gonna see some action today. Should get pretty, uh, pretty intense in a hurry. I know we put out just a few in this bayou right in front of me. And by the time we got back from putting them all out, they already had one on, a decent one too. Ernie's ready, boy, look at him. He's ready for a good tussle with a golfer. We might be in trouble with this little bitty boat. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to tow Ernie in. Well, make sure you make sure you bring a piece of plywood. You gotta get me on top rolling. <laughs> That's all I ask. Alright, so what's your guess on how many catches today? Uh, I guess I'll be good if we get 30. 30? What you going for? Between 30 and 35. Between 30, 35, I guess I'm gonna be the, uh, I'm gonna hope we got good luck, I'm going for 40. Yeah, you're right. All the way to 40, baby. 40 garfish is a lot of garfish, as y'all saw. He said the average is about what, a 30 pound fish? Right. Yeah, so that's a lot of fish on this little boat. But uh, we caught 18 fish one time. Yeah. And we had over 500 pounds. Wow. Yep. But it was way, I was all big fish. Yeah. All right, first one of the morning. Don't look like it's got a fish on it. Uh, sad. Uh, you know, in this bayou, we should have threw real short lines where yeah. they don't hit the bottom. Right, right. Yeah, so much trash. It's a good day to go gar fishing, I can tell you that. Uh, I think it's gonna be a bit yeah, a little bit later.
This one's swimming, maybe. Uh, probably just a wave. Sometimes they look like they're moving in and out. You got one. That one. All right, first fish. Small fish. Oh, God. Looks like he's, he's moving a little bit. Yeah, he's moving. Decent one. Yeah. A little bigger. A little bit bigger. Time to get All you right, right in the face. Nice one, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Watch your, uh, your left foot there. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna have you stand on top of them, hopefully. <laughs> you know what, we might get put that crate the other way. Leave a little bit of Got a swimmer? Good swimmer. We got a swimmer. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm moving too fast, they always get me. Oh, that's mm -hmm. it's it's seven. Seven. Yeah. Let's do it, Let's do it. 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 That's a nice fish. Mm -hmm. Just like an alligator, you gotta get him in that kill spot. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it, I mean, it stones him too. If you break him anywhere else, you just crack his head. Yeah. You gotta get that, see that pink blood. Yeah, it stones him. Yeah, Ali, I bet these are fun to catch on a rod and reel. They are. I fish for them. Why don't we reel. get that real big one? Yeah. <laughs> How hard is it to get your hook out? When you clean them, you, you, you cut the head off. And um, most of the time it's easy. Sometimes if yeah. it's like right in between, it's not all the way in there. It can be hooked where you gotta be digging in and get it, but they're not too hard to come out. Most of them come right out. So he said the ones on the bank are a lot of times an alligator. Let's see. That doesn't appear to be moving. Let's see when they get close to the shoreline here. Oh, yep. <laughs> Move like a goldfish, though. That's what it is. Oh! Oh, oh man. Pop the wire. Pop, pop the wire. Pop the leader. Wow. Broke it. That's a good leader too. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. That wasn't no old leader. <laughs> I don't know how it broke. I didn't get to like look to at him. Did y'all see him? It was about the size of one of them. Not, not yeah, the so it was a little, bigger one and it broke the, the, the metal leader. I mean, <laughs> hey, hats off that to him. That don't happen much unless the leader is bad, you know? Yeah, right. In some sense, maybe that one it got was, kinked in a bad sometime spot. When you when you cap in the head on a fish and the hook you hit that wire and don't realize it because they don't usually break right 
If that's a newer one, so you use 10. a number nine and number ten. Uh, we call these alligator hooks, J hook, you know, big, big, big J hooks. Number nine, number ten, and then you get your roll of wire that's bendable stainless steel wire, and you make a big, uh, a big U with it, and you run it through the hook. So you run it through there and just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it quite a bit, and you make your big loop, and that's what you tie your line to. About six foot of line coming off the jug. You bait it up. Now what you do with your fish, you pass this up into the fish's mouth and you come all the way down to the hook. That garfish is gonna pick it up and then start to eat it and that's when he gets hooked. So that's the setup right there. That looked like too much fun. I gotta get in on some of this action. I'm gonna let Ernie take a break and I'm gonna get to it. I like to see him move. The grass on it, but current it. No. And where are you putting the uh, leaders at? Right there in front of you, on front of that creek, that crab creek. Oh, okay, I see. It's string. Hold it. A little dry spell right there. Yeah. See him go this way or that way, it's good. Probably ain't got nothing either. <laughs> Not a good crab. Big old number one. See if I get him in. You get him where you pull him out of the water, just go fast. There you go. Oh, oh, almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> a crab. I see the crab. Oh, you got a no. fish. Oh, no, not a crab. I thought I seen a crab. All right, finally got a live yeah. fish. <laughs> a little bitty guy. Yeah. But it's a fish. Yeah, we'll go. We got one. Change that little trend, man. All right. Into the box. Yeah. And we untie, right? Mm -hmm. That's the next step. <clears throat> that loop and pull that one loop again. All back. right. Together, one of them better have a fish. All right, the fish is up the line, so. Yep, yep, yep. All right, number two. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, well, getting a little closer down. Oh, wait, the bugger, though. That's what the fuck. Alright, a little bit better one. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, well I have my fun. I'm going to give it back to the man who really knows what he's doing. Man, it's cool. You know, I would definitely recommend wearing gloves if you're going to do this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you get your hands day. beat up pretty quick. You know, I wasn't doing this all day long, so I didn't wear gloves. But if you are going to do it for any extended amount of time, or really just, <laughs> you should probably wear gloves doing yeah, this. But it's do. fun. That's a minute, too. Like, when they start gloves. fighting, man, it <laughs> is fun. <laughs> Really underappreciated fish here in Louisiana. They're big, they fight hard. If you're willing to clean them, they taste good. Cool experience for sure. All right, we got a bottle running now. Look. That, that look like it might be a decent fish. A what? Look like it might be a decent fish. All right, I don't know. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, he got it. Let's see. Oh, it's... Whoa! Rodeo! But you do not want to bring a fish like that in a boat alive, I promise you. It's a bad idea. I'm gonna let you get caught up, Mr. Ernie. We're gonna hit the bank right up here. All right. All right, so these fish, they're gonna go back and flesh them all out so they get the skin off and then they leave it whole. And the buyer comes to get them just like that. And then what we believe, we don't know 100%, but we believe they're cut into steaks 
and sold at seafood stores in North Louisiana, North Texas, places like that. So if you're seeing this and you're wondering why they're catching so many, well, this is a commercial product, a commercial endeavor. Everything we know about this fish says that it can be supported sustainably. There's plenty of these fish out there. There's not a lot of people who do this for a living. It would be one thing if like you had tons and tons of boats doing this, but there's not a lot of people who do this. So I don't want you to see this and think that, oh, all these fish are being taken and they won't be replenished. It, the way it works is that it, 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 can, it can sustain itself. We are in the Mississippi River Delta, which is not a lake. This is not a closed system. It's open to the river, it's open to the Gulf. It's a big, big, big expanse of wetlands. So it's not like if we just catch all these fish, we clean the lake out. There is no lake. It's all just an open system from the river to the Gulf. Louisiana commercial fishermen annually land more than 12 million pounds of freshwater fin fish, including alligator garfish. Many of these species can be found in Louisiana's wetlands, which make up its unique coastline. Louisiana is the nation's second largest seafood supplier behind Alaska. But the robust ecosystem that provides this seafood is deteriorating every day due to natural and man-made causes. We do have a way to begin repairing it, but we can't do it without national support. To learn more, visit my friends at Vanishing Paradise, vanishingparadise.org. Oh, All right, so one of our last lines of the day has been one of the better fish of the day. Ernie's got him a little pile down here, boy. <laughs> no one of them ever come off, bro. I wait for one of them to hit me. Yeah, they can jump right out over this boat like not. pretty different pretty unique let me know what you think do you like when I go out and we do commercial fishing videos because I'm gonna keep doing them but I want to hear from y'all let me know what you think and as always if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe like the video and click the bell down below so you know when I put out new videos I will right, we'll see y'all soon